Hi Aquarius, this is a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs or book a personal reading. And please do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. If you want a personal reading, all the information is in the description box. All right, so let's get started. What is going on with Aquarius for the second half of May? And yeah, if you can see this right here, that is a cat tail, that is Mannix's tail. <laughs> I hope he actually stays there and doesn't try to mess everything up like he usually does. All right, so we have regret and we have patience. Okay, so it could be that somebody is in this energy of feeling regretful for having waited for something, for having been patient with the other person maybe, or just being patient for something um, in this connection. Let's, let's see, let's find out. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That was the chariot that just fell out. So it feels like, yeah, there might be a new direction that you are trying to move in. Let's see. So for your energy, we have the moon. Oh, uh, who started off with that? Um, I think it was... Was it? it was one of the air signs it'll come to me i think it was libra no gemini i think it was gemini all right just calling that out just in case somebody might be dealing with a gemini or maybe you also have gemini in your chart because it came out in the exact same position all right we also have the ace of swords and the knight of pentacles all right so I feel like there are some repressed emotions here on, on your end, possibly something that you feel um, that you're still maybe even a little bit confused about. I feel like you're confused when it comes to what is it that is actually true or what is it that what that was actually true, possibly when it came to somebody moving um, towards you or in which direction was somebody moving in or what direction are you moving in. Let's see what's going on with them. We have the Tower, the Six of Cups, and the Two of Swords. All right, so the other person here is definitely going through something major. Um, a big crisis, a major change, a major shift, which might actually come from this. And there's something here. There's, I feel like this person is thinking a lot about you, thinking a lot about the connection, possibly thinking about the past when it comes to this connection, and just also feeling maybe even um, a little bit in the dark as to what is going on here. Oh, there he goes. He wants to chase a little bug. All right. Go there. The bug went that way. <laughs> All right. We'll see more when we clarify. So let's see what is coming up. We have the sun. Okay, good. The magician. And all right, the four of cups. All right, so it's a little bit of a mixture here. I feel like the truth is coming out. Like whatever there is confusion about, I feel like that is going to be cleared up um, in the near future. I feel like, you know, there's going to be some kind of action here with this magician. I feel like this is either you or them really feeling like you can create what it is that you want. You can bring in this sun or based off of this truth, you know, there are things that you can create or manifest. With the four of cups, I will actually clarify that before I say anything, but it does feel maybe like a little bit of disappointment. Maybe, um, we'll see some, some settling for somebody. All right, the message for you here is the Seven of Swords. Okay, so it could be, you know, that depending on how you decide to manage the situation, that it could potentially um, 
lead to either you feeling a little bit disappointed or it might even be that you know you you don't even care for this connection so much anymore we'll see we'll see you really have more control over what is going to be the outcome here or where, where this is leading to um, more control over that than you think so I feel like you know if you if you do end up being in this four of cups energy I feel like this is something that can totally be avoided when we have the magician right before that because yeah, it's like you are manifesting that on your own okay if this is you so let's actually clarify let's see the moon Alright, so we have the moon again. Maybe some of you are dealing with um, with a Pisces here. Definitely let me know if you are, because that's <laughs> the moon on the moon. And we also have the four of cups again and the eight of swords. Yeah, so see, this is this is your energy here. Um, unless the roles are reversed, all right, which they can be. So that four of cups that I've been talking about here for the near future, this is totally up to you, and I feel like it really if it's manifested, it's manifested out of your own fears. I mean, having the moon twice and the eight of swords, like this is you just keeping yourself um, in some kind of a state here that leads to disappointment because it's it, it feels like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like the more you fear something, the more... Um, the more that you, you know, kind of bring that in, Mannix is trying to <laughs> create chaos here. Um, let me just clarify the rest of them so we can actually put this together here. So we have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. All right, so it's almost like staying in the dark about what was really true. I feel like that has been um, something that, that that's on your mind recently. And this is what might be causing the regret for being, for being patient with this person and I feel like you know that just causes you to have more doubt it's like you're creating that that within yourself and it's almost like you know it's making you feel like you know was the truth that this person um, deceived me were they deceitful you know should I not have stayed here should I have run from the situation sooner um, especially with the Knight of Swords and that Eight of Wands, which is very, very fast energy. It's almost like, you know, moving away from that, from that Five of Swords, trying to move away, in other words, from, you know, a, a possible manipulation or some kind of a deceit. I'm so sorry about the noise. <laughs> I think Mannix got his toy, so <laughs> he will be playing with that now. Um... Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. I will stop that noise. Just give me one sec. <laughs> he took a crystal, actually. Okay. I would restart this reading, but I really feel like these are the messages that want to come out for you. So I... I apologize for Mannix's bad behavior. All right, so clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Two of Cups. Yeah, it almost feels like, you know, you, again, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, these are both very slow, slow and grounded, just, just slow moving energies. So I feel like what's happening here is that, yeah, you know, you, almost as if you wish that you had left the situation long ago. 
um, because you feel like you know this is this is something that has been taking so long in order to reach this level of of love or of being together in a way where where it would be fulfilling. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, there's a reason for it, all right? The Page of Pentacles also talks about learning and learning lessons. So I feel like, you know, there was there was some lessons in this for you. And if you're staying stuck in an energy of regretting the fact that you were in this, that's, not, that's just going to keep you in this energy of the moon. Um, you know, just pretty much doubting yourself, having some illusions and maybe even, you know, blocking those lessons from your, from your awareness. I feel like they're there. I feel like you, you have learned a lot. Um, but you might not be able to actually like fully embody the lessons until you come out of this, of this energy here, of this fear or this, you know, just overthinking about about the past or about what happened or about the disappointment. And it doesn't mean that you won't end up with this person. This is just what is currently happening. All right, so let's see for them. Let's see the tower. Ooh, the nine of swords and the knight of wands. So there's a lot of stress here. This person is stressing a lot. This person is very, um, I feel pretty much all over the place. Right now, I feel like they, they really don't have a handle over what is going on. Whatever it is, I do also see this as being divine intervention coming in to get them to the state for a particular for a particular reason. Whatever this tower is, I do feel like it is related to you because we have the six of cups here also. So this is this person is really missing you, having a lot of nostalgia for you as well. See. Oh, the knight. Oh, we have three here. Okay. So the knight of cups, the high priestess, and the two of swords. Yeah, it's like this person is at a lot is at a loss. Like what do I mean by that? That it's almost like they don't know what to do here, all right? With that two of swords, they feel like almost like it's a dead end. They feel like this connection with you um, is very, very strong, that it has a spiritual nature to it. This is somebody who really wants to come in here, all right, um, with an offer of love for you. But I feel like with that Two of Swords, they're, they're not acting on that right now. There is something else that they're going through, which is really, really um, significant in their lives, which is creating a lot of stress, a lot of back and forth, a lot of instability for them. And it, I mean, this could even be separate from you. It could be related to you, it could be separate from you, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be the same for everybody. But either way, they're, they're thinking a lot about, about this connection with you. Just not really taking much action here. So let's see the... Oh, that's the second time we have the Two of Swords, because that's what we're about to clarify. So let's see, Two of Swords. All right, we have the Three of Swords. Okay, so that's a lot of pain here as well. Um, I actually do want to get one more. All right, fine, two more. So we have the Knight of Pentacles for them here and also the Queen of Swords. All right, so they're at a standstill right now, not knowing what to do, almost feeling like they're at a dead end. But that I feel like that's mostly because they're going through this tower, whatever that is, this crisis um, of something just really big happening. And the reason why they're not moving much in your direction and feeling like this is a dead end is because number one, at the moment, they're in so much pain. All right, they're in so much pain that it is... Um, that's part of why they're, they are also moving slowly, which I know it, it's up there too. So they were moving slowly to begin with and you were being patient. Um, but I feel like they're getting on the right track here, especially when we have the Queen of Swords here as well. That there's, I feel like they're going to be coming out of this tower moment, this crisis and able to see things a little bit more clearly Maybe even in a, in a little bit of a detached kind of way, but the pain is still there. The pain is still there. It's just that they're getting on the right track because of whatever it is that is happening here. It's, it is taking a little bit of time though, just a little bit. 
So let's see what is coming up because we do have the sun. Let's see the sun. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so definitely, wow. There is definitely movement here towards, towards happiness, towards fulfillment, towards love. It could, it could be your person, it could be you just in general. Uh, let me get one more. Let's see. The Emperor. Okay, so yeah, I do feel like this is your person here taking charge of their of their situation and heading in that direction okay which is really good even though we do have the four of cups here i feel like this person is getting on the right track there is some truth that is possibly being revealed here or being seen when it comes to what is it that i need to do in order to have this happiness in order to have this love let me see the magician The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Somebody is really um, bringing into their reality, I feel, first of all, a lot of independence, a lot of sense of self-worth and confidence. This is like really beautiful energy to be in. And I feel like you are moving in this direction. I also do feel like it is your person moving in this direction, even though at the moment they're going through a very, very difficult time here. And I feel like this is actually more about um, each of you um, being able to really cultivate your inner independence, standing both of you on your own two feet, even if you're not together, but in a way where it's actually going to be very, very beneficial for the both of you. And this could be part of what brings you happiness, whether it is together or whether it is you know, separately. So let's see what this Four of Cups is about. All right, the Page of Wands, the Hanging Man, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, you know, so this disappointment, it's that it will be there if you if you kind of like stay stuck in this energy here, all right? If you don't heal that, all right? Having the hanging man here. It's like, you know, if you just stay in this and stay in that regret for the past and for how things have worked out, you know, that is what can just keep you stuck in this moon energy, feeling disappointed, feeling like you don't know what's going on, feeling like you don't understand why this happened, when you actually do have the ability here and the opportunity to see things from a different perspective, go about it in a different way where, yeah, you can see it from a different perspective and there can be this healing. And then that's when you will be able to find peace. So I feel like this was just, you know, a message for you, which is actually being reinforced with the Seven of Swords, which is, you know, don't, there's no need to stay in this type of behavior that is not serving to you. Um, it's almost like it's being deceitful to your own self. Or it's like stealing from your own self, you know, that opportunity that you have to heal from this because there is lessons here. There are lessons here. Don't let them slip away from you because that is what is going to bring you this ultimate um, healing and fulfillment. All right. Aquarius. If this resonated, please give me a thumbs up and let's get your final oracle message. Right, and we have hope. And I think we just had this for, for Libra, if I'm not mistaken. Stay positive, the world is behind you. Sorry, the worst is behind you. Look up to the light. So yeah, find that hope, stay positive. The, the worst is, is done. Now it's all about really just um, embodying those lessons and applying them. So those were your messages, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching, much love.